Oh, okay, okay. We should be on and working. Uh, first off, uh, I do apologize if basically the camera and voice seem like a bit lagging. Or, or, yeah, 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 a bit lagging. This is a, uh, uh, sort of like a, 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 a new thing, f uh, uh, for me. I'm not very good with, like, technology stuff. I'm, I'm what you might call old school. <laughs> so basically, I do apologize if basically it does, uh, uh, lag, uh, a, 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 a little bit. So, um, okay. So. Uh, well, first off, I should introduce myself. My name is Mr. Steven, uh, and, uh, uh, I am a part of the Book Buddy program for, uh, from Partnership for Kids. Uh, obviously, if you can look around me, uh, we're not in school right now. That, that basically is a very sad thing because, because, uh, like, I cannot, like, come to you guys, uh, in person. Uh, but but uh, hopefully next school year I will be able to to uh, come uh, to the, the 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 school school thing. So okay now okay this this one is the I believe the third grade uh, uh, readings I should say. Um, so okay I okay okay, okay I, I I do I do have a little like the paper. Uh, uh, just show me to to help guide me uh with this so so uh so uh i keep on looking this direction that is why anyway uh let's see uh, okay i have a question uh for you guys what is your favorite thing to do on a vacation some of you guys may need to think about it. Some of you guys automatically know the answer. Now, basically, uh, as for me, I love to, to do two things on a vacation. One, uh, usually, uh, if it's like a it, if it's like a a, a tent uh, camping or, or or something like that, I love to hike. I love to walk around and see the the trees and 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 ju and, and, ju and just like just like imagine myself and basically basically like like a, this like enchanted forest or 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 or, or 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 something like that. It makes uh it makes it makes hikes a lot more I would say cool, a lot more just just, just amazing. Just just seeing the wonders and beauty of of it all. I love to do that. Like uh, another favorite of mine is just uh, well, yeah, something to do with these things behind me. I I usually bring a nice little book. For instance, you have the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. It's one of my it's my absolute favorite book series. Uh, I I just love to just bring a nice book, whether it's a short story, a novel, or basically a collection of stories such as this, and just, and just, uh, read a nice little book. <sighs> and just relax and just see all that stuff. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, oh. Sorry, a, 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 a scary part. I, I better put this back. Okay, <laughs> maybe like not like maybe not like that, but but still, I I I I hope you guys get the idea. So so uh, anyway, um, well well well, uh, this particular book has to deal with uh, a type of vacation, and this and this book. Uh, it it is a chapter book, so so uh, I I'm only going to read the first two, two first two acts. Wait a second, acts. You'll see why. And this one is called Hamlet and Cheese. Hmm. It's by Megan McDonald and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Hmm. 
It seems pretty interesting. Hamlet and cheese. So basically, I will I will start reading the uh, chapters, the first two chapters. Alrighty. It's called Stink. Hamlet and cheese. All right. Act one. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Hmm. Spleen face. Cacker blossom. Maggot pie. <laughs> Whoa! Friday at last. Spring break time. Mom dropped Stink off at Sophie's house. He couldn't wait to make a list of all the fun stuff they were going to do over spring break. Stink rang the bell. Miss Wolf let him in. He ran downstairs to the playroom. The floor was littered with flung fairies and winged horses and pointy-headed elves. Sophie of the Elves sat smack dab in the middle of it all. What's all this? Stink asked. Sophie held up a bag of unicorns mixed with action figures. Look at all this good stuff I found at a yard sale, she said. You want to play Last Unicorn on Earth? Stink picked up a unicorn. Hey, this one is miss missing a leg. And a bunch of them are missing horns. Jeez. That, that, that will definitely not feel good for the unicorns. You just have to love them for who they are, Sophie said. Wait, how did a lady in her bathrobe toy get in here? Jeez. Isn't the wacky cat isn't the wacky cat lady awesome? There's more too, mustache guy and scary dead guy. Oh, and here's the best one. She held up a balding guy with a big collar and a puffy pumpkin pants. Puffy pumpkin pants. Try saying that ten times fast. Hey, isn't that? It's William Shakespeare. Sophie cracked up. <laughs> Close. It's William Shakespeare. That's why I said, said Stink. He's that 400 year old guy who wrote all those plays, right? Webster gave me comic books of his stories. One story has a floating head in it and a talking ghost. Some of his plays have fairies, said Sophie of the Elves, and Queen Fairies, and King of Fairies. And elves. Oh, I can't wait for camp. Camp? You're going to camp? It's not even summer. I'm going to Shakespeare camp for spring break. It starts Monday at the college. It's called Shakespeare's Sprites. You get to dress up and act out plays. And some of the plays have sprites. You should ask your parents to sign you up, Sink. If it's not too late. Sprite? You get a drink soda at camp? Hmm, that's not that's not that's not a bad camp, actually. Not that kind of sprite. A sprite is a magical being. Like an like an elf or or a fairy. But I don't really want to be in a play. I'd probably get Dunk being, I'd probably get stuck being a mouse. Because I'm short, all I ever get are squeaky parts. Not speaking parts. This camp is different. Everybody gets a speaking part. For real? Yep. Also, there's magic and mad kings and murders in Shakespeare, said Sophie. But storms and shipwrecks and sword fights. Shipwrecks? Sword fights? Stink perked up. 
shipwrecks and sword fights sounded way not boring. Sophie held up, held up the Shakespeare action figure and made him talk in a deep voice. Come on, stink. Don't be a cold-blooded vulture-headed eyeball. Yeah, that doesn't sound nice. Huh? Sophie jumped up and Shakespeare dropped his quill pen. I almost forgot to tell you the best part. Shakespeare camp. You get to swear. Hmm. Stink could not believe his ears. No way. Actually, it's more funny. It's more like funny insults. There you go, that's better. They teach you to talk like people did in Shakespeare's time. We get a, we get to have insult contests and call people silly names like Toad Spotted Bum Bailey. <laughs> that sounds very funny. A stink cracked up. Shipwrecks and sword fights and bum baileys and beard wearing at college. So you'll come, asked Sophie of the elves. I will, said Stink. Did I mention that you get a free t shirt? Super frying hi thee hither. <laughs> This, this seems like a very funny book. Also, right here is little illustrations of different Shakespeare quotes. Some of you guys may may know these quotes. Uh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a couple examples. To be or not to be, that is the question. That's from Hamlet. All the world's a stage. That's from As You Like It. Lord, what fools these mortals be! That's from A Midsummer Night's Dream. I'll tell you guys later. Act 2. Girl cooties. Hmm. <laughs> away! Away! First day of camp! Stink looked ara around the room. Shakespeare quotes covered the walls. In the middle of the room sat bins full of costumes, piles of pool noodles, and girls. What ho! Girls, girls, and more girls. Girls wearing crowns, girls missing teeth, girls sticking out tongues, girls twirling in dresses everywhere, girls. Uh... Where are, are all the boys? Stink asked Sophie. Huh? You didn't tell me I'd be the only boy here. Oh, I'm going home. Hey, I counted frogs with you, Stink. I went on a midnight zombie walk with you. But you liked doing that stuff, said Stink. Sophie had stopped listening. She spotted the costume. Fairy wings! She said, dash, dashing over to the bin. If only Webster had not gone to Mexico for spring break. One of the millions of girls ran over to Stink. She had a crown on her head and a veil covering her face. The girl flung back the veil. Yaxaroni! Riley Rottenberger! That's a, that's a funny name. Riley Rottenberger. There you go. Sometimes friend, most time enemy. What are you doing here? Stink asked. I'm here for Shakespeare camp, same as you, said Riley. Oh, brother. Could this day get any worse? Just then, the acting teacher blinked the lights. Welcome to Shakespeare Sprites. Hi, everybody. I'm Amanda. Be I'm Amanda Beth. Stink plunked himself down beside Sophie. Riley scooted over next to Stink. Amanda Beth told him all about Sh Mr. Shakespeare. That he lived in England more than four hundred years ago. 
that he wore a gold hoop earring and that he knew he excuse me i do apologize for that and that he knew 25,000 words some said he was the best writer who ever lived we'll also learn what it takes to be good actors she told him do we get to be in a play asked a girl named lily we'll all get to act out one short scene by the end of the week said amanda beth on wednesday we're going to learn about a play called Macbeth. That's the one with uh, uh that's the one with the witches, asks the asks a girl named Harper. I'll be a witch, the Hazel, a girl next to Harper. I'd rather be Juliet, said Riley, looking straight at Steve. On Wednesday night, we'll come back to campus to see real actors in an outdoor performance of Macbeth. On Thursday, two of the actors will visit camp, teach us swordplay. Swordplay, and set up on his heels. By Friday, we'll be doing a dress rehearsal. Finally, on Saturday, your families are invited to come watch you act your short scenes. That's what this week looks like. Anyway... I'm glad to see many girls. Stinks the only boy, yelled Riley. Stinks face turned ch turn cherry popsicle red. In Shakespeare's time, said Amanda Beth, it was against the law for girls to act in plays. The girls gasped. <gasps> so boys had to play all the girl parts. Boys wore long fancy dresses, asked Sophie, and princess hats? They sure did. They even wore makeup and wigs. But since we have a lot of girls, girls can play boy parts, right? asked Sophie. Right, said Amanda Beth. For an actor, that's that, that that's an extra challenge. And there are no laws here like the ones in Shakespeare's time. I want to be a sprit, a sprite, said Sophie, or any kind of fairy, even a bad one. I'm sure everyone will get to try on the part they liked. Amanda Beth taught them how to make faces, sad faces, mad faces. Glad faces. Stink practice is best. Uh, stink practices best. Cuckoo crazy face on Riley. <laughs> Riley made fishy lips. Smooch, smooch. She made kissing sounds. Gross. Stink jumped up and grabbed a toilet brush from the props box. Uh, from the props box. He jabbed it in front of him like a pretend sword. Back! Back, you fiend! Or it's curse of the toilet brush on you! Guess what? There's a lot of kissing in Shakespeare. Uh uh said Stink. There's a lot of sword fights and stabbing. Amanda Beth didn't say anything about. Shakespeare's most famous play is... Romeo and Juliet, said Riley in her know-it-all voice. Romeo and Juliet are big time in love. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. Riley chafed, chased after Stink, but he fended her off with the toilet brush. Death to smoochery, yelled Stink. Too bad Amanda Beth waited for them at the end of the day, to teach them about Shakespeare insults. Shakespeare's plays, she told them. 
have a lot of colorful, colorful words. When a person gets mad or calls someone else a name, the things they might, they might, they say might sound funny to our ears. I'll show you what I mean. Amanda Beth passed out a list, a list of strange sounding words. Use words from each column to make funny insults. Take these sheets home and practice as we'll be using our insults later, later this week. Spleen face, canker blossom, maggot pie, sink could not wait to try speaking in Shakespeare. At home that night, Mom, Mom asked, How was your first day of Shakespeare camp, Stink? Judy and Dad watched to hear, too. Well, there's, there's good stuff and bad stuff, said Stink. I learned to make faces. Stink made, a, and I just ate a warm face. Stink made a, I just saw a snake face. <laughs> I do apologize if, 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 if it shook a little bit. And I got to chase a girl with a toilet brush. Well, that's good, said Dad. I guess. And today's only Monday. I still get to call someone a toad-spotted bum bailey and beat someone up without even hurting them. Uh, let's hear the bad stuff, Judy said. Was there a lot? No. Just two. I think. Riley and Rottenberger. <laughs> uh... And those are the first two chapters of Hamlet and Cheese. I kind of, I kind of wonder what what would happen next. What kind of weird Shakespearean uh, 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 insults would they come up with, and, and basically how their performance of the play Macbeth would. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it now. I'll ruin the ending for for uh, you guys. Um. <laughs> well, um, let's see. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that is it for uh the uh, I would say sample readings of Hamlet and Cheese by Megan McDonald. I actually really really like this book. I think it's because uh. Uh, one, I I am a a uh, actor, and secondly, I have acted in Shakespeare before. I actually was in a play called A Midsummer Night's Dream. This play had like fairies. It it basically had lovers. It had sword fights. It had a uh, it, it it basically had a play at the end. Of the play, it kind of sounds a bit confusing, but trust me, it, if you guys have seen the play or basically have heard of it, uh, uh, it is incredibly funny. And, and trust me, I enjoyed it mostly. And yes, I know how to talk. Uh, I would say Shakespeare's language. Uh, I'll give you a a, a uh, example. Okay, let's see. Uh, this. Uh, <laughs> Um, let's do this. Um, in this same interlude, it doth befall that I once now by name present a wall. <laughs> that, 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 that's just a tiny snippet. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, doing Shakespeare is, is basically a bit difficult, uh, because, be, 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 because like the way it's written, the language, and just and and ju and, ju and just like trying to understand the whole speech and, and stuff like that. But I tell you what, it is very much fun. If you guys, uh, 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 
read Shakespeare or or, 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 or something like that, have fun with it because it is incredibly fun. So I'll put that book down and uh, just, uh, yeah, 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 that's pretty much it. Um, uh, a special shout out, I, I would say to one, the uh, uh, P4K, the Partnership for Kids uh, staff and the teachers and basically all, all, all that stuff. I can, I can never thank you guys enough for letting me to uh, read out out loud to to you guys. Also, another special shout out to the staff and especially third graders of Field Club Elementary, especially. Uh, uh, is it all right to say the teachers' names? I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I'd like to say a special shout out to Miss Stone's third grade class. Hello, hello, hi, hi. How are you? How are you? Okay, okay, okay. settle down, please. Settle down, settle down. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. So, 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 I uh, just want to say hi, uh, uh, hi, to you guys, and uh, uh, I hope and pray that basically you guys are all safe. Uh, 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 during this time, and 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 uh, also, I do have one uh, piece of advice for you guys: never lose hope. Don't ever lose hope. Uh, and 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 find the hope, find the good stuff. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm not very good with like uh, <laughs> ending so. So, so basically, I'll just end here, and basically, I hope to see you guys very soon. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And stop.